In this video, we are going to look at how actions in Hasura can be used to write a custom mutation for a simple use case like sign up. I have a table called users with the columns ID, name, username and password. Uh, let's try out the inbuilt Hasura mutation to insert a new user. So I'm going to say insert users1 and I'm going to give an input argument object with the parameters name and uh, the username and finally the password and I would like to get the ID back let's click on play as you can see a user has been inserted we can verify this data by going to the users table now what I would like to do is I want to hash the password before uh, inserting into the database so I'm going to make use of actions to write this custom business logic. Now let's modify the mutation to accept some variables. So I'm going to say name, which will be of type string and username, which will again be of type string. And finally our password and replace these values with the variables. username will become dollar username and the password will become dollar password. So I'm going to make use of derive action, which will generate some boilerplate code that executes this mutation. As you can see, it has created the action definition uh, with the types. Now I would like to rename this mutation to something called sign up, which will accept these three input arguments. And uh, I will probably not require the timestamp and I'll also rename the output to say it will be a sign up output and I'll modify the output type here. I would not require create a dot and I'm going to be returning only the ID field. So I'm going to remove the other fields from the types. And I have a handler here, which we'll come back to later. I'm going to click on create. All right, now the action has been created successfully. Now let's head to the code gen tab, where we'll be able to download the boilerplate code for Node.js Express. I'm going to download the starter kit. W get the zip file, and then unzip. Now inside the starter kit folder, you can see that there is a package of JSON. Let's start off by doing npm install. And meanwhile, we can look at the code structure to understand the boilerplate that has been generated. It's a simple express app uh, with multiple routes, uh, which are dynamically handled in the handlers folder. Uh, there is a hello world route, which is already there. Uh, we can add more routes uh, and start configuring our custom logic. Let's go back to the Hasura console to copy the generated code for the custom mutation. We can create a new handler called signup and, and save it as signup.js. And we need to modify the action to say that this is the new handler. So we'll go to modify and I'll update the handler to say signup. The action has been updated. Now let's run the Node.js app to test this out. We will start the server with npm start and test this mutation on graphical. So I'm going to try out the sign up mutation and I need to give the arguments name, the username and the password and I can return the ID. All right, the signup mutation is working. We can test this out by going to the users table and the new row has been inserted here. Now that we have confirmed 
the customization is working, we can go ahead and write the custom logic to hash the password. We need to install a couple of node modules to handle the hashing and to generate the JSON web token. So I'm going to go ahead and, and install the modules. All right, now let's start the server again and write the code for hashing the password. Now let's understand the boilerplate code that is already generated. We have the underlying mutation which inserts the user into the database, which is the Hasra mutation. And we have an execute function which makes the fetch API call to the GraphQL API. And finally, we have the handler which accepts the input arguments and actually calls the execute function and returns the response back to the client. We'll start off by importing the modules, the bcrypt.js and the JSON web token modules. And we'll write some code to hash the password. So let's say the hashed password is equal to await bcrypt.hash. It takes in the password and a hash. And I'll update the password to be sent as the hashed password. Now let's verify this mutation by going to graphical. And I can see a successful response. Let's go ahead and check if the password has been hashed in the user's table. Yes, the password has been hashed. I, now I would like to return the JSON web token back to the client who's making the mutation. So I'm going to go to the actions and modify the types to accept the token as an output. So I'm going to say token of type string and I'm going to save this. Now let's modify the JavaScript code to handle this token. We've already imported the JSON web token module. Now we need to create a custom claim for this. So I'm going to create the token contents first, which has the sub, the name, the issue at time, and the Hasura claims specifically, which has the ex Hasura user ID, the ex Hasura role, uh, the default role, and finally the expiry time of the JSON token. And I'm going to create the token with the JWT.sign method, which takes in the token contents and an encryption key. I'm auto generating an encryption key here. And finally, I'm going to return the token back to the client. Now, let me verify this mutation. I can ask for the token back and I can click on the sign up. As you can see, I've got the token back from the server. This is the JWT claim. We can verify this using the JWT inspector. I've got the payload data with my user credentials, which is the name and the accessor role and the user ID, which is seven with the expiry time. So this is a basic example of creating a custom mutation with Hasra. We initially wrote a mutation and then used the derive action to generate some boilerplate code. And finally, we wrote the custom logic in our Node.js Express app. And that's it for this example.